the rooftop bar. Now we're not on a rooftop bar here, but this is our balcony and it's a bit like a rooftop bar when you've got one of these in your hand. But that's where we're going later on this evening. It's going to be a good evening, rooftop bar, and then come over here has found this lovely restaurant that goes back to the early 1500s, would you believe? An artist who gave the artwork away and he has decided at that point in time to buy an inn, a tavern, frequented by some of his art arty friends. You know, people like Michelangelo, would you believe? Just amazing. We're going there later this evening too. And as always, thumbs up, subscribe, bell notifications on. I hope you enjoy this episode. Salute. Right, so we're just heading towards the Angel Rooftop Bar, which is above the Kalamala Hotel, just up here. And it's a lovely area of the historical center of Florence. There's some beautiful buildings, buildings that uh, are directly linked to the guilds that go back to the 13th century now that's a beautiful building isn't it that's directly linked to the uh, the Lana guild the wool the wool guild and next door to that you can see the Kalamala hotel and above that is the angel rooftop bar and that's where we have a reservation for tonight so reservations are very very important you can see it's pretty busy here isn't it at the moment um, Saturday night early Saturday evening in Florence it's buzzing and to give you some context we can see the Mercato New Oval the new market there in front of us and let's go up so we're going up to the Angel rooftop bar and this is on top of the Kalamala Hotel very exciting and so here we are funky little place upstairs little plunge pool down there too see that so it's a lovely lovely rooftop bar we can see the bell tower Duomo there and if I swing around this side we can see the Palazzo Vecchio have a look at that fantastic and look angel rooftop bar it's nice it's, it's very good um, just to give you a bit of an idea the spritz here 16 16 euro you pay a bit don't you but you're paying for where you are aren't you that's obvious it's lovely up here we're having a great time looking forward to the restaurant too i'll get a bit more footage and show you around some of the uh, 360 degree view that you get up at this rooftop bar it's nice the pity palace there and it's going to be a lovely sunset but we're not quite there yet and that dome you can see there is the dome of the San Lorenzo Basilica, uh, the Medici Chapel area. I'm just going to take you for a, a quick little tour down these steps. Can you see why you need to uh, book and reserve? And from this side of the rooftop bar, you can see the uh, bell tower and part of the Duomo, the tower there. So that's something to think about where you'd like to sit. Um, there's the top of the arch at the Republica. It's a great little setup, isn't it? And look, there's many rooftop bars around and within the Florence area. Many are attached to the hotels and you really have to be staying at the hotel to uh, have access uh, but the angel rooftop bar here no, you just have to reserve 
it's a lovely, lovely setting. So it's a good setup, isn't it? Well worth, well worth a visit. As I said earlier, you pay a bit more, but look at what you get. Expat life. The sun is setting over Florence on this lovely day. Now we're going soon, so one last little look about. We've enjoyed the time up here. There's a little plunge pool. Now I guess that's a part of the hotel. I just want to show you one more time the sunset. Lots of cameras out. Of course, of course. Look at the colours. Nature at its best, isn't it? Just beautiful. Hey, what did you think? That was nice, wasn't it? I must admit, I did enjoy myself up there. And do you need to see some more rooftop bars? Because, okay, I'll um, explore a few more for you if you want. Now, we're going to the Trattoria del Pinello, restaurant of the brush. And as I said earlier, this is the restaurant that um, an artist in the 1500s decided to buy this place. It was a tavern, an inn back then. So he gave away his brushes and became a tavern or inn owner. And some of his uh, arty, arty mates, like Michelangelo, uh, frequented and loved the Toscano food and uh, wine. And that's what we're going to enjoy tonight. Looking forward to showing you this restaurant. This restaurant, of course, is in Via Dante Alighieri. Dante, the great man from the uh, late 13th, 14th century, I guess, the uh, father of uh, Italian literature and language. Now, the restaurant itself, the building, apparently, was a part of the, the Dante household back in the 1300s. So it's, it's got some significant history, this uh, restaurant we're going to tonight. I'm looking forward to um, yeah. sharing. Hey, the boys! Hey, the boys having a good night. I love that. I, I think we're here, and look, here we are. Here we are, Tortoria del Pinello, the restaurant of the brush. And I think we've got a table outside in the piazza on the other side. Uh, Buonasera. And look, the original portrait of the boys having a wine and some Tuscan delights. Look at that, look at that. This is lovely, isn't it? Lovely. Fiori outside. And of course, the Trattoria del Pinello has another entrance. And we've got an outdoor table. I showed you the walk through the restaurant there. Um, so we're sitting out here. It's a lovely setting, isn't it? Beautiful evening in Florence. I think we'll have a bit of cockley and then we'll just see how we go. Okay? I'll show you some of the, the food that we have tonight. I'm going to Vino della Casa. Okay, so just going the, the house where the Vino della Casa. Rosso, Chianti Classical.
Walter Benning. So we're going to try some cockley and I'll show you what that's like. It's really uh, local cuisine, really nice, really nice. And that'll come out soon and then I'm going to have some uh, lasagna. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so this is the cockley. How would you describe cockley? So Carmel, how would you how would you describe cockley? <laughs> fried dough, that's fried dough. Sometimes you can have it filled with different different things, sometimes you can have anchovies in them, but these ones are plain. So plain fried dough. So it's it's very much like a donut with a bit of salt saltiness to it. Um, to sum it all up, they're nice. They are really nice. Fresh, some cheese, some fresh heart. Very Toscana. Very Toscana. Okay, bon appetit. Look, so so here's the thing though, Vino della Casa, it's hitting the spot. We were just talking, like, use your imagination. Over 500 years ago, in the room behind us, Michelangelo and all his buddies, they're having, they're having a wine just like we are here. It's pretty amazing, isn't it, when you think about how old this place is. So, it's a good little restaurant to come to. It's pretty economical too, isn't it? Um, I'm having a lasagna. Look, my Italian friends say, Mama makes that, you don't order that at a restaurant, but I like lasagna, so if I like it, I order it. But Lasagna, lasagna, a, a beef stew and some zucchini over here, a nice uh, red wine there in the middle and what did we hear that? We've got ravioli, butter and sage. Oh nice, okay look at that, that's, that's lovely, that is lovely. Hey, and, and by the way, um, my team, the Magpies, Collingwood in the Australian Football League. We won the flag today, the uh, grand final. It's a bit like the uh, winning the Super Bowl uh, in the UK, winning the uh, FA Cup. It was magic. But, but with the time zone, 6.30 a.m. this morning I was watching it, so it's been a long day, but a very happy day. Still day. Go the Magpies. the restaurant of the brush where we just were it was like a mama and papa uh, restaurant it was very relaxed what about the history it was just absolutely fantastic in there and we had a lovely evening on top of the uh, rooftop bar that we were before that what a night what a day go magpies by the way and as always thumbs up subscribe bell notifications on I'll see you next episode ciao